Hello, welcome back. Today we're off on a solo adventure. I haven't got Louise with me, it's just me. So gonna go out, gonna have a little bit of fun, gonna spend an evening out, uh, just gonna you know, go for a walk in the sunshine and just enjoy a really nice, pleasant day. So as I said, just me, stick along for the ride and uh, yeah, and I'll join you again in a moment. So it's been a really, really lovely drive. I've been singing my little head off to Bob Seeger. Uh, it's great to be in the van on your own for that sort of thing. And having a good sing song. Now I'm in the Cotswold water park area. Uh, there's lots and lots of lakes around. Stuff. It's very, very picturesque. So I'm, I'm, I'm basically, I'm mooching around here now, trying to find somewhere where I can pull up and go for a walk. And hopefully, that won't be too much of a challenge but it's such a beautiful drive and i've had such a lovely drive over here so uh, you know everything's good everything's good so let's try and find somewhere to park up and i'll see you soon i managed to find somewhere to park up it's a little bit difficult around here a lot of the car parks have height barriers on them and of course i'm too tall to get in those so <clears throat> i found somewhere to park i hope it's okay because well that's where i am and I'm walking down this pathway now and you can see just off to me is the lake there. And, and where I'm heading is to what I hope is a really nice little spot to stop. I saw it as I drove by and I thought uh, that would be a really nice place for some lunch. So let's see if we can find it again. So these are all the lakes within the area. So at the uh, Cotswold Water Park, I'm not sure if that's what it's called, <coughs> we're not too far from Sirencester and this is where, uh, as I say, we've got all these lakes and things and there's all kinds of wildlife and birds and stuff like that. So it all looks really nice. It's a beautiful day. So if you can see over the hedge here, look, see, so it's a fantastic lake and there's lots of them according to that map. Sorry about the noise, that's these guys. Um, you can park and stay here. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. Okay, so we've moved a little bit away from the noise. Sorry if you can still hear it. Uh, just my luck that I've picked the moment that they're out in force, uh, cutting back all the hedgerows. I mean, it's great that they're doing it, but it uh, doesn't make for good YouTube videos. Anyway, yeah, you can stay here. Now, the problem that we have is this. The dreaded height barrier. Now, I think, if memory, if memory serves, somebody said that was 2.3 meters. So if you're below that, you could get in here. And I believe it's only, um, I think somebody said it was 10 quid a night. Um, or it may even be less than that. Anyway, as you can see here behind me, lots of places to stay. It's right on the lakeside. It's actually a nice spot. As I say, the problem is, is the height restriction barrier. So if you're below that, happy days. If not, then like me, you're going to have to drive around and find somewhere else to park. So this is a great day for a walk. So um, <coughs> yes, yeah, really, really nice. We're walking around the outside of the lake and I'm going to try and find where somewhere to stop for a bit of lunch in a moment. It's that time of day. Really makes me wish I brought my kayak with me. I didn't today. Uh, this was sort of an impromptu stop. Um, I saw that it was here and I thought, oh, that'd be a nice, beautiful day, lovely walk. So that's why I'm here. I didn't think to bring the kayak, but never mind. It's still really, really pleasant. I'm still really enjoying it.
So this is my spot for lunch. It's absolutely lovely, overlooking the lake. Um, really, really nice, sun shining. It's great. So I haven't gone mad, it's just me. So I've just got a few bits and bobs, a little bit of fruit, a cereal bar, and, uh, and some pork and pickle pies, right? What else? Oh yeah, and some cheese. Okay. <laughs> so one of the things about being out on my own, as I am today, is that I can pretty much eat rubbish and get away with it. There's nobody to tell me not to. So, it's our secret. I found this campsite. It's a, a basically a field off a farm. The farm's got a really nice farm shop. Uh, they rent e-bikes and there's some you know, things going on, right? So, but essentially it's a field. It's very, very semi-wild. There's nothing really here. There's a compost toilet. That's about your lot. But it was dirt cheap. So it was only eight quid for the night. And it means that I can settle in, have a fire, relax. Don't have to worry about anything. So actually that's pretty good. So I'm going to go and hire an e-bike in a moment and I'm going to have a little bit of time on that, right? But first I've got to find where I need to go. They gave me this map, right? So this is the map here and this is the direction. So it was a bit of a, a little bit of a faff to get started. You have to go to the shop, which is basically, you've got to turn down the lanes, go on to a bypass, turn up the next lane. And then when you're at the shop then, then you, you basically got to queue up like everyone else, which is fine. You then give them your details. And then this very, uh, very quaint lady comes along with a little folder, pen and paper, writes everything down and um, very, very friendly, very lovely, very old fashioned. Right? Uh, and then you get given your map and your key code and, and that's it. And then off you go, find your place to park up. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go and get parked up and we'll see you on the other side. <laughs> So this is me all parked up now. There's only one other van in the entire field, right? So, uh, and that's only just pulled up. So it was just me originally. But as you can see behind me here, I'm walking down the field. I'm about halfway down. And there's still a significant amount of space look to go. And you can see the other van is way up there. So it's not, uh, it's not interfering with any kind of privacy or anything. It's actually really quiet here. There's one or two tents over that way that I can see, and that's really about it. Anyway, now I'm off now to get the e-bike. Uh, so I've got to go, apparently I've got to go walk through the woods and find the shop again. Okay, so as this is an eco site, they've got various loos. There's a gents P, so on and so forth. And I'm assuming that if I continue down this pathway, <coughs> this is the way to the shop. I certainly hope so. Um, let's find out. It looks like this is where it pops out. Where it pops out too isn't anybody, it's another question, isn't it? So we're hoping that it's... Oh, I see, right, so that's the end of the lane here. 
Okay, so now what I've got to do then is go back up this lane, which takes us back to the farm shop. This is where we are, Abbey Home Farm. And there's quite a bit of information about it. It's, it's actually an interesting place. They've got all kinds of stuff going on. Loads of crops. Walking up that lane, there's loads of fruit trees and stuff. It's, uh, it's, actually, it's actually a really pleasant place to be. And for eight quid, you can see a map there. But for eight quid, I don't think you can fault it. So I've got the e-bike. I've also got a silly hat, as you can see from here. So let me flip this around and I'll show you the bike. This is the e-bike that I've uh, rented for a couple of hours. It wasn't too bad. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I was doing that for a family and it was for a day, it would make my eyes water. But just for me, for a few hours, it wasn't too bad. Apparently this thing, this about three, three and a half grand new, it'll go for 60 odd kilometers on a charge or something. So essentially more than enough for me just to toot around and have a bit of fun with. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. No idea if this is going to work. It's got a little protective cover on. Let's try it and find out. stop for a bit it's a fantastic place I'm having a lovely little cycle around there's good news and there's bad news the good news is it's really really nice it's picturesque the bad news is my ass hurts it's been a little while since I've been on a push bike and uh, cool isn't it ever showing it's uh, where it's an e-bike it's actually really really easy to ride and it takes a lot of the effort out of it don't get me wrong you still have to work but nowhere near as much which makes it really pleasurable However, the downside is, is they haven't done anything to make the seats more comfortable than the last time I remember. So yeah, chaffed buttocks is what they say, but that's okay. Right, so now I've got to make a decision in um, as to how long it will take me to get back because I don't actually know where I am. I've got an idea of how long it took me to get here, but um, yeah, I'm not sure whether it's going to be the same going back. So I've got to make an effort on that and make a decision now shortly. But for the moment, I'm in this really lovely place here, surrounded by fields and rolling hills, beautiful sky. It's idyllic, it really is. I've been cycling for a while now, and I've just got to a place called Barnsley. Now, I thought I was in the Cotswolds. I had no idea I was this far north. I must have cycled something else. Anyway, I'm only teasing. This is Barnsley and it's apparently a really beautiful little village. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna take you through a little cycle ride through the village of Barnsley. bike back and that was a lovely afternoon it's a really nice way to spend some time so now I'm making my way back and I'm going to go and check out the shop that we went to to sign in but I didn't get a chance to look at it properly then <laughs>
me show you this. We're um, I've just taken a wander down now, coming back through the woods, and I found uh, the showers that we're going to take a look at. So this is the shower cubicle. And if we look inside here, basically what we've got is a corrugated container here with a shower head. It's all very, very rustic. There's an on-off tap there. Okay. Uh, but it, it works fine. So, and then you've got compost loose dotted around. Uh, that one's closed at the moment, but, um, but yeah, you get the idea. So it's very rough and ready in the sense that there's, you know, there's not really a great deal here, but if you're self-contained as I am, then you don't need much. So it's not a problem. And there's no point in paying huge amounts of money for things you're not even going to use. So like I said, this was eight quid, which isn't bad at all. I don't think it's a beautiful spot. Um, I don't have to worry about being parked up or having a drink or whatever it is, you know, I can get a fire going. So actually I think it's a, it's money well spent and it's a great part of the world to have an explore round. So um, yeah, let's get back now and let's see about getting set up properly and getting a fire going and get some cooking going on. So it's getting on now. It's, I don't know, coming at seven o'clock, I think something like that. Anyway, yeah. It's been a lovely, relaxed, quiet evening. Just setting the fire up to get something to eat. And uh, unfortunately, as sometimes happens on campsites, couple of loud people have decided to come and park really really close i don't know why people do that there's all this room but anyway so i'll make the best of it went to the butchers yesterday and i got myself a fantastic steak so that is going to go onto the fire now in a moment i've built the fire it's just burning down hopefully it won't be much longer then i can get the steak on uh, good old faithful ridge monkey just going to cook it up in that and because i know i need to be healthy i got a bag of salad to go with it yeah. that's what's cooking listen to that sizzle so that is the steak done. Really looking forward to this now. The steak was fabulous. Now it's time to settle in. So uh, because it's just me and my own, because I am uh, in a position where I can choose the movie, I am going to watch Taken the Extended Cut. So uh, yeah, lots of fights, lots of explosions, lots of car chases, all good stuff. Anyway, have a lovely evening and we will see you tomorrow. Morning. It's time for a cup of tea. Hello again. Cup of tea in hand. It's time to start thinking about the day. So uh, I've got to be off site in a few hours and it was a pleasant enough evening. The site's really nice. So I think it's probably time to start packing up and head off to wherever next. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching.